Each time we set out to fish the hard water, a choreographed collection of shelter, gear, transportation, and implements must be collected, packed, moved, and assembled on an often windy and wild lake. Inevitably, and often in short order, after arriving, assembling, drilling, untangling, baiting, and setting our hooks, someone decides perhaps they're done fishing for today, and the whole choreographed collection shifts into reverse, only to be hauled back home and stored away. We find that often a three-hour ice fishing adventure can easily be dominated by the dance, leaving our hooks only minutes at times under the ice. These are not good odds for fishing. Enter the Shaggy Shanty. Oh folks, you get to witness a special delivery. New project on its way here. Uh, here it comes. We'll have a look at it in a minute. Yeah, buddy. Well, this year, we are going to have ourselves a good old time out on the water. Got ourselves a fishing shack. Couldn't resist. A couple hundred bucks. And uh, it'll serve us well, I think. This way we can leave the, uh, leave the shack out there leave all the stuff in the shack and not have to pack up every single time we want to go out. So, uh, eight by five, I believe, eight by six, something like that, six holes. One bench, ready to go. So we'll, uh, we'll throw a little stove in here, right at the end, and should be in good shape damage there well winter's here for sure it's uh, about midway through December and uh, it is minus 28 today uh, minus 35 or 36 with a wind chill I believe so it's a cold one and we're gonna take a look at this thing today as well we're gonna uh, throw some new skids on it today and uh, start doing some uh, repair work to it, some restoration. I don't think I'll get everything I need to get done on it today, but uh, we'll get a start at it anyway and see how we go. So there you are, that's what we're up to. Thirty. Sun is down. That's just how it rolls around here. Uh, it's actually darker out than the camera's making it look. So uh, I'm gonna move indoors on the ice shack and see if we can't get some uh, the insulation done. Tonight, um, we got uh, 
Got this one wall and all the ceiling uh, insulated. Uh, I left a gap here because the uh, stove's going to go there tomorrow. And uh, I don't want it too close to the insulation, so we'll figure out what we're going to do there. We'll probably just leave it open like that on that spot. But the rest of it is looking pretty good. And it is toasty warm in here. Very hot. We will extinguish this guy. Turn it off for the evening. Tomorrow I will uh, install some of this flashing um, on the walls there uh, where the stove's gonna go just as a heat reflector. And maybe we'll get some windows in as well. So we'll see. Oh yeah, it has gotten dark out while we were in there. Look at that. Hey puppers, how are you? Oh, snuggly warm. <laughs> you are snuggly warm. Okay folks, we will check in with you again tomorrow when we get back to work. Installing the thunder today. <laughs> uh, I'm just using a bit of uh, aluminum flashing to uh, create a heat shield for the uh, stove because we're going to have it pretty close in here. So just nailing a bit of that up and then we will cut it. So lots of work done. We got the uh, insulation all in, which is awesome. Whole bunch of insulation anyway, I didn't get the whole thing done, but a bunch. And got the stove in with the uh, with the heat shield and new skids. So, like I said, I think we're ready to put it on the ice and get some fishing done. Tyler. <laughs> oh, nothing. It's just so easy. We thought we'd take a break. <sighs> cool. So we had this guy looped around the bottom and it just ripped right through, tugging it through this deep snow. We're making about four or five feet uh, at a time before the truck gets stuck again. So back up and give it another good tug. So it broke right through the bottom of it. So we've got it looped through the top and the bottom now. But we're getting a lot of snow coming up through the holes as well, which is also slowing things down and keeping us from getting it out there. We haven't got too much further to go. Basically, where those guys are is where we wanna be. So, let's see how we do.
Get in your home. Well, I made it. There is a crazy amount of snow inside that came up through the holes because this thing rides so low and there's so much snow right now. So that's all right, we'll have to live with it. But look at these whiteout conditions. Woohoo! Pretty awesome. Crazy amount of snow happening right now. Right, Caramel, what do you think? Pretty good? Ready to fish? All right, let's fish. First hole going in. Finally, our shaggy shanty is at home on the frozen waters. Ugly and dripping from pretty much every corner and smelling like the pike that we're fishing, but it's ours. It's warm, and it'll be there anytime we're ready to dip a hook. It is ghetto fabulous. Is what it is. Yeah.